Hi, we're, we're Team Cat. I'm Catherine Blake, the K. <laughs> Alexandria Rice, A. Uh, Thomas Abbott, T. Welcome to our audio sampler video. So this is our audio sampler version two. We have the load sample section, which is naturally where the user should start. Um, in the drop down menu, we have all the samples that are in your current MATLAB directory that are dot wave files. Um, so for example, I'm gonna pick queen and then I'm going to assign it to button number one of the 16 and I'm gonna click load. Then when I press this button, it is going to play the song by queen. Then when I click stop, it is going to stop all the audio played by the buttons. Also, another useful feature um, is we can assign buttons different things and play them over each other. Multiple times. And then stop it. Um, the play buttons are designed so when you press the button, it'll play the sound. But if the sound is empty, like nothing has been assigned to that specific button yet, then it will play an empty sound and turn red and stay red um, to tell you that you're playing an empty button. Um, and that's that. All right, so then next the user can move to the preloaded sample section. And here we have 12 different preloaded samples. They're all WAV files. And we use the audio read function and it'll play each file once you click on the button. So for example, we have Monroe, which is a Mary Monroe uh, clip. And if we assign it to button one, we hit load and the load function works the same as the loaded sample function. And then if I hit- You must think I was born yesterday. It then plays the file. And then if I hit stop, it'll once again, change the color back to the original blue. And so then we can assign, just like with the loaded sample section, we can assign to multiple buttons. So I can go to button two and assign the I love Lucy clip and hit load. And then I can hit. Something's happened to my, my brain. It's all dried up. And I can play both of them together. So I can do one. You must think I was Something born happened yesterday. to my, my brain. It's all dried up. And then the stop once again changes it back just by changing the color, the app dot background color back to the original color. All right. So as for the sample editing section, if it's easier to see with the queen sample. Um, you can take the button. Um, so right now, queen is assigned to button number one. I paid my due. Now we can take um, button number one here and click select. So now we've selected the queen sample. Now we can also change the volume of the queen sample and save it to button number two. I paid my due. So now it's louder. And because we defined this volume multiplier as a persistent variable, we can keep sliding it back and forth to get different um, volumes without having to edit the sample over again. As for the speed factor, it's very similar. You can take speed of Make it a little bit. That's a fun way to listen to it. And back down. Speed factor doesn't go past 0 0.5 because as it slows down all the way, it kind of makes the music so inaudible. It doesn't really make sense. Um, as for delay, you first put the initial time you want to start the delay. So I'm going to start it pretty early and then I'm going to put the duration of the delay. Um, do five seconds and start at three. If we wait, I paid my dues time after time. Forgot to press the delay button. I paid my dues. That's going to pick up right where it had it, as opposed to. The cut button, which is going to cut five seconds out of the song. I paid my due. Done my and sentence. keep going. Um, as for fade in, we can take um, fade in, and the duration is going to be five seconds. So from the beginning, and then the fade in is going to last five seconds. It's a little hard to hear with Queen, so I'm going to pick guitar 
save it to one. That's the sound of the guitar. One, select. Um, this fade in, we're gonna do it for two seconds. Um, fade in, button save two. So that's the sound of it fading into the guitar. As you see, it sounds different than this one. Um, a uh, useful feature for the um, fade in and fade out commands is that if this duration is longer than the actual sample size, that it will fade in over the time of the actual sample and not just break. Um, fade out works just the same. If we look back up, take fade out equal to two and then save. It works different than this one. If you hear it a little bit better. Oh, did I not hit it? You can see the difference specifically down in this graph that they are different, but it's just a little hard to hear seeing as the guitar is already fading out in that sample. And that's that as for these sample editing features. Um, as for the reverse feature, I think it's easier to see with Queen. If we load it on the one here, I paid my this is Queen. Then one gonna load that up and then we're gonna click reverse and put it on button number two save so this is clearly you know strange and reverse Queen now we can unclick the reverse button go to three save it and we've successfully unreversed the sample in case we're editing and accidentally click that reverse button it is a state button so we can undo the effect quite easily Okay, let's load a file to button one, select button one for editing, and take this button through, take this file through a high pass filter. So one is the original, and two is through a filter. It is, um, uh, the frequency has been changed here, as you can see on this top graph, which is magnitude as a function of frequency. Um, and down here, here is the amplitude as a function of time. Uh, let's test out some other editing features. That's our low pass two. Um, and if we load a stereo file to button one, this is I paid my due. select it for editing and we can remove the voice. get this result, I um, isolated the left channel and right channel uh, from the sound file and took the difference of these two files and was left with an unvoiced sound. So it kept the rest of the audio and uh, just removed the voice. Pretty simple, a lot simpler than I expected. Um, okay, so let's go down here and check out the tone generator. Um, the user can select specific values to generate a tone. Uh, typically an amplitude of one is, is nice. Let's play frequency two, 261. Um, this is like approximately middle C. And let's play it at a sampling rate of 8,000 for two seconds. Um, so I just use the built-in sign function to, um, to take this frequency through at um, the sampling rate and time. Similarly, I use the built-in square function um, to generate this tone. And lastly, the sawtooth function. So if you if we zoom in on this graph, you can see that there are little teeth here for the sawtooth. Uh, 